people, this is Digital EL Studio doing a review on the really right stuff BH55PF. It's supposed to be one of the meanest, baddest ball heads on the market. All made in the USA. Said that on the other box, but uh, anyway, this is an unboxing video on the specs, on how it's done, All right? As you guys can see, you did a really nice job here. On how it's oh, there you go. All products made in the USA. All right, get that box out of here. Here's the packing. Comes in a nice padded case string and you got a quick release over here that you can hook to your belt or your tripod where it can hang when not in use that's if you walk around with you know a spear or something like that so here's the board head very nice very, very nice well before I go on any further comes with parts. Let's see here. Allen key washer skewers for different pieces. And as you can see here, this ball head is very smooth. Very, very smooth. This is the tension lock. See that? So smooth it can drop. I've owned Manfrotto heads, uh, Vanguard, and hands down, this one is the best one I've owned so far. You can adjust this, you can take out the headpiece. You can order your different mounts from really right stuff. If you want the Arca Swiss or the Arca Swiss tensioners, there are different models you can use. Uh, you got pan and tilt. You can pan the head. Everything's calculated precisely. Laser cut. Nice makeup. well made the ball seems like it's weather sealed because it's very tight the seals is very 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 tight can't can't see anything getting in here at all it's pretty smooth too smooth actually I have some quick tips for uh, for those who want to use this as it is with what you currently have, with your current system. My current system is a Manfrotto, and uh, when I contacted Really Right Stuff, they told me this ball head will not work. I don't know uh, what they talking about, but I did my own little thing here. This is a Manfrotto plate got from B&H um, this is what I did as you can see the bottom piece is, is like for the camera got that little camera washer in there and you screw it on it goes on pretty smooth as you can see it just slides in there bam and there you go you're ready to rumble this is my system for now. I'm changing to Arca Swiss, however, because it's much, much better. And as you can see, I use a Black Rapid until I find the right information online on how to do it with the Arca Swiss. But I've been using this one for a while now. So um, I'm not switching right away until, you know, maybe. Uh, couple weeks from now I'll be using Arca Swiss 
but currently for those who are using the setup I have with a black rapid, uh, this is the way to go. This is how I see it working, and so far it works well for me. Alright, as you can see, this is my black rapid here. Make sure that your black rapid you, uh, clip is the heavy duty one, not this, not this one that comes with the the, the camera, with, with the uh, adjuster. Because this is not for that. This is just a lever to tighten, so you can tighten the screw into the camera. This will break if you try to use it with a black rapid. It, it may not look like it will, but it will. Okay, I'm just letting you guys know that. That's why they have this special, this special heavy duty one. So when you attach it, it wouldn't break. All right, and this is how I'm going to use my setup for now. Okay, as you guys can see, this works pretty darn well. I can adjust how I need to adjust without my camera getting crazy. See how nice that moves there? So uh, those of you who have the Manfrotto setup, this is the way to go. This piece builds pretty well, pretty, pretty, pretty well. You don't have to worry about anything going to break or the threading is going to hop off or anything like that. The setup is pretty darn good. This is how I uh, intend to set up my setup for the next three to four weeks until the Arca Swiss comes in. And I'm gonna do a video on that one as well about the uh, with the Arca Swiss to the Black Rapid. I found some of the information online, but still I want to do my own thing. All right, I'll give credit to the guy that or the links that I found that info from, but I'm gonna further advance my own skills to that. All right. So this is how you can set up your setup if you want to use the Manfrotto. This is how you're going to do it for now. This is how I do mine for now. Alright. And it works pretty darn good. I haven't actually tried it yet. And it's very easy to take out. This thing is, is nothing like it on, I, I have ever seen so far. So uh, it's well worth the money. If you, if you can get this. I never used Kirk. I never used... Uh, those other name brands but this one I can tell you would not be disappointed so there you go really right stuff case just don't forget to get this mount if you intend to use this system because without this really right stuff do not sell this you get this from B&H alright Alright, so thanks for watching and see you guys in my uh, next video with Yaka Swiss. See you later.